first impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. Today we're taking a look at a closed beta, currently coming up, digital collectible card game with a twist. It is called Card Hunter. It's got both campaign and multiplayer. We're going to start in campaign. This is a digital card game, I guess you could call it, but that's not completely true. Alright, first of all, this is going to be... The story of the game is we're playing a tabletop RPG, I think Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm playing with my adventuring party. I got a dwarf warrior, a human mage, and an elf cleric. I'm playing against the DM, Melvin, or maybe his older brother that sometimes shows up. Or is it Gary? Gary and Melvin, I believe. Gary is the DM. And you have the cards, but they don't come from cards. They come from loot. So you can see this shield actually gives me three cards from my deck. This one gives me three more cards. And I could also just trade out some items, which, yeah, I got these boots here. It gives me extra walk and that, so I could put them on there and that'll change my deck. Overall, though, I'm pretty satisfied with what I got here. Just get rid of some stuff. The game is a free-to-play game. Actually, it's probably, you can call it more freemium, where that means there's free-to-play unlockable content, but there's also premium c content you can get. The premium currency of this game is Pizza Slices because you're all in the basement playing D&D or whatever game they're playing. So the campaign itself, it is a series of one-shot modules, which if you ever played a tabletop game, you probably know what I'm talking about. So let's just go over here and do it. My veteran party is all level 7. So the module we're working on today is the Throne of Strench. We got Trogs are tough. This is Gary over here. He's my dungeon master. He's obviously a very cool guy. Got the popped collar, got the glasses inside. Yeah, he, he he's a real BA, as a... Uh, uh, what's her name from Borderlands would have said. So we load into the game, and again, I said this is a CCG with a twist. As soon as we get in the game, I can show off the other twist. It is a turn-based tactical game. So we all have a certain number of cards, and... First thing is, if you have any traits, you must play them immediately. In this case, I have a negative trait. That means the cards are so good that they balance up by giving me a bad card. In this case, they get to see my hand. Boo. I got Impaler. Positive traits, they replace themselves. And then the mage got Kindler, so all kinds of good stuff. Movement. You cannot move unless you have a card that says you can. And the dwarf, he's slow. For the most part, he's got walks. I've managed to sneak a couple of uh, sprints into him, some dashes, but for the most part, he's just slow. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pass. Strange, isn't it? But if I pass, he goes. The only way that round ends is if we both pass. Next thing, some special cards. We have blocks. You right click. Right click works in this game, even though it's a browser based game. Any two damage damage roll or less, it just automatically negates. You have to be see there we go, it's automatically. These are all reactionary abilities and you have to be facing your opponent. If I'm facing away, I can't block, obviously. Armor. Armor you keep and you roll the die, so 4+, plus, and it does whatever it says, so it negates 2 armor. Same with this. Armor, 4+, plus reduces 2 armor, and the attacker takes 2 damage, because I'm going to spike him in the head. And then you can also get this one. If you have multiple pieces of armor, you can use multiple rolls. So I'm going to pass right now. I'm going to let him run forward. And you can see that when he ran forward, he, he's he got spears. Spears are melee attacks with 2 range, but he also happens to be in range by mage now. And he hit her for two because she's got armor. So I'm gonna hit her again. Hit him again. And what's this guy? This guy has 15 hit points. I got a special attack right here. This is a 10 damage attack, but I must discard a card to use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just smack him. Didn't quite make the roll on my my block. Alright. I'm going to have my Guy over here will walk forward. It does put him in range of that card right there, but. Alright, for the campaign, all the allies that are the same cards, so in this case, the Trog and the Trog Spearman, they all share a pool of cards. So if one of them uses walk, they all walk. So I'm gonna hit pass. They pass. New round. We both draw three cards. And if I had more than two saves, I have to discard. So your max hand size is five. All right, so what we got here? We got a guy with five, a guy with four, and then three guys behind. Well, the five we can re we can take care of the big zap. Bzz. Oh, he's got armored. We took one. And he rolled his armor save. 
All right, well, let's see. Do I have anything that ignores armor? This might help. Let's go ahead and hit that. You missed it. So there he's dead. But my mate, my warrior just took five. He's down to five hit points. Oh no, what can I do? He's got no armor. I have no heals right now. So what I'm going to do is I am getting out. Okay, here we go. Next thing I can do, is this have to be an ally? I can't give it to myself. That's a shame. So cancel that. We're not going to do that right now. I'm just going to... Hmm. Actually, maybe I will just do that. Here. You be frenzy. Oh, he, he filled the spot in. Alright. Get him. So it should hit him for five. Yeah. And now my mage is going to run away. So my mage is gone now. I'm going to start filtering through. He passes, so I got a free shot right here. I'm just going to go and life tap him. He's got armor, but he missed his save. And... I'm going to kind of reposition myself just a little bit. Pass. There, now we both start a new round. My warrior's in trouble. I actually should have probably run him away with that last run. And the range is not orthogonal, so it is diagonal. That is within two range. Now, one thing I could do soon is have a little fun with this, but... Let's see. What wants it? I'm actually going to start by just killing him. There, he's dead now. I'm going to heal the mage. I'm trying to kind of buy some time. I'm trying to get so he uses up all his cards. The problem is if I pass and just kind of hold off, who's to say he won't pass and then I'll discard all this stuff? Next thing we do is walk forward. Warrior gets back into it. Oh, failed my armor. He's dead. My kin will avenge me. So Major will walk forward. And she's gonna do an AoE. They fail both the armor saves. That one got one armor save, but they're both on fire. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bolt. Oh, he armored both times! Which also hits me back for one. It's gonna probably end up killing my mage. Which didn't, so out. And I'm gonna bring the cleric over here. He passes, I pass. That guy's on fire, he's gonna take one, beginning of the turn. Oh, he's got armor. I need to melt that armor somehow. Alright, first things first, that mage has gotta get healed. Oh, no line of sight. Oh no! Alright, so... Do that. He's gonna run forward. My mage is gonna say, nope, we're not fighting. Make them run into me. Now I can heal. Perfect. Mage gonna thwack him with the shield. Missed the armor slaves. Both of them. Nice. And I hit him with my arm. Oh, I hit him back, too. Can't see anything. So Mage will just heal again. He passes. I pass. We start all over. I want my warrior back. What did you hit me with? Probably. Oh, it's just the burn. Feel the burn. I have nothing to do about armor. So what I can do is just move forward. And then say, hey, how's it going? Oh, we took, we prevented some of it. 
What's he got? He's at six. I'm just gonna heal myself. Burn him. Oh, we got armor. Took one. Try it again. Fail and I think it's one. It's enough, you're dead. Out of range of my big zap, so just pass. And my guy's dead. On the bright side, I'm gonna put you on fire. But he's got armor. But he is burning. He either doesn't have a movement card. Oh, all he's got is armor. Oh, he's got a lot of armor. So I'm actually seeing his hand right now. So I'm gonna step forward. I'm gonna try it anyway. There's no reason not to get close because he's got spears anyway, so. Pass. Alright, no damage. So the good news is he's not doing much damage. The bad news is I'm not doing any damage. So let's try burning again. I need a boil armor spell. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna stay out of range of that, uh... The old... Spear. That spear can only hit to there, so I'm okay. Uh... I'm gonna drop my weak armor, actually. I wanna be able to run if I have to. I gotta be able to kite. Good! I got boil armor! First things first, though. Boil that armor. Now he's got no armor spells. So now he's getting nuked. And I'm passing. Now he's gonna get burned, too. Of course, drawing for your cards, so maybe he's gonna have one right now. Let's try it anyway. Oh, he's got a forearm. We're gonna get the crude plates. I'm just gonna pass. I'm happy where I'm at. And I'll get rid of one of each. So there we go, starting to burn him a little. I'm gonna dissolve that armor. He's gonna hit me. But I'm gonna kill him now, because he's got no armor. There we go, there's a look at a match. There are, let's see, there's three battles in this module. At the third battle, you get all your XP. Usually a little bit better gear. Let's go and collect the loot. Open the chest. What was in here? So I got a shield. A couple of gray items, so... And if you were a special member, you would get a special item. In this case, it is a blue. It's not always a great item. A lot of times, in fact, it's just kind of... Vendor trash, I guess you'd call it. In this case, I don't really want any of that. Oop. Any of that. So collect all. Leave. And I can go on to the next mission. Complete the module at the end, it'll unlock another module probably. I'll get some bonus XP, which means I can level up. If I level up, I'll get extra hit points, extra gear slots. That's pretty much it for the campaign. Let's actually go ahead and... Hey, how's it going, Gary? But I'm going to return the map right now. And you can see these are all the missions I've completed already. These are the ones I have access to. This is a special one right here. You buy... You use pizza slices to get access to. You'll be getting some premium currency while you're playing the game, just like most freemium games. Now, for the multiplayer. I'm actually not going to play any multiplayer today. I haven't actually gotten into it too much yet. I just wanted to show some of the functionality in it. So, we got Gary over here looking all happy. We got player ranked matches. So you can get ranked matches and get a rating. You can see, it looks like none of us have played yet. Also, as you win, you'll get new... You'll get chests, and eventually, your 20th win, you get an epic item. Nice. You got some starter sets. So, in the PvP, or in, I'm sorry, in the multiplayer, you have everyone starts at level 20, everyone's a basic gear. When you start playing through the campaign, you'll get to the point where you get this adventurer starting party for free. What's in it? You got a dwarf warrior, a elf mage, and a human priest. You also start with some basic gear, mostly greens. Got a blue right there. So you can see a decent set. Also, things are going to be higher level, obviously, because, well, you're higher level. She's got 25 hit points. She's got to build a hit a little harder than my level 7 guy. You can buy other ones later, too. Let's see, maybe I wanted a Fierce Dwarf. Maybe that's what I want. 
So I can get this guy who's just got this set up. These are your starter decks if you're playing a normal game at your starter. What else could you do? You can get... The chest shop. So you can come over here, you get pizza slices, and you can buy random loot. This is basically your booster packs from playing CCGs. So let's see, 150 slices can get me 5 random items, at least 2 will be epic. They're also levels 1 through 18, so they could be low level. Something to keep in mind, what's this gear? This guy's got level 14 gear, so it's not all level 20 either. You have the clothing shop to change your look. I actually have unlocked one, go to wizard, human, and that's her. Actually, this was my original mage, and you got to unlock that later. You can't see they're even on their like little cub cardboard cutout stands, like you're playing a tabletop. And then leaderboards, you can create a casual game, so just playing with some buddies. And then the multiplayer keep for some co-op. Overall, the game is free to play. It's fun, and I love the humor in it and the style of game. And it's a little bit different of a twist than most CCGs. Check it out. It's going to be a freemium game. It's currently in closed beta. Hopefully, going in open beta soon. If you like the game, check it out. It's called Card Hunter. Like the content, stay tuned to more for MO Play. Thanks for watching.